Now in the playlist, what you'd want to do is to ensure, one, that if you're going to record anything, have it, you can record it in a pattern first or if you want to do song mode, but what I usually do is go into the playlist, drop in a blank pattern, set it for about four bars, and now if, you, if I go in to do a little bit of record, let's drop this in here. So I have that set up there, it's recorded. I didn't use a metronome or anything, it's just showing us an example, but if I was to play this back. As you see, what I recorded is actually showing in the playlist there. If, you know, of course, go in, do your quantization, whatever you'd want to do. But that's then generally how you would record from the free slicer, or if you were to use SliceX for another example and put it into the playlist. This way now I can go in, you know, of course, align everything, do a little treatment with the, the velocity levels. So that's pretty much all you would need to do to get a pattern in the song there. Uh, if you wanted to record as just a pattern clip, and do, say, a few more, put it in pattern mode here. What I did, I had it in song mode, and that's how I was able to get it in the, the playlist like that. So next I'll go over a few questions I had about latency and what to do to avoid getting any type of latency. Essentially, you just need a decent sound card. Um, to have the computer audio might be okay, but depending on your, your PC or laptop, you'll probably get, when you trigger on the cord, it's gonna have a delay where you hit it and then you notice that it's recording off compared to what you initially performed on the court. So you'd want to get a decent sound card, you know, an M-Box or any of those M-Audio, the Firewires or the, the uh, Fast Track ones, where if they have an, an ASIO driver, those will give you the lowest latencies that you can possibly get when you're using FL or, or any other program like Reason or Pro Tools. As long as you have something that gives you an instant response when you're triggering on the cord, you'd want to do that. And that way that will eliminate any type of latency issues that you may have. So I hope this was informative for anyone that had questions about FL or was you know lost about connecting their cord with FL Studio. Um, I know this was just a little bit of an overview, but I just wanted to go through and you know, try to just answer some general questions that were sent to me through YouTube. And just wanted to thank everyone for watching. I appreciate the subscriptions and all the video views that I've been getting. Hopefully this helps out anybody. And if anyone has any questions or anything like that, just send me a note and let me know and I can try my best to, you know, to answer what I can. You know, I'm, I'm learning as well. and. You know, there's a lot of great beat makers out there on YouTube and appreciate what they've done for me and whatever they've highlighted in their videos and hopefully I can do the same for someone else as well. So I'm going to wrap it up here, um, play the beat that I had set up here and you know, looking forward to making more videos for you guys in the future. So thanks for watching and well, take it easy.